Hey there, I'm Taz Singh, and I've been working with communities for as long as I can remember. Fundamentally, communities are made up of people. So this is my journey going to those communities and talking to those people. Come along with me. Amazing. Um, so I'm back. Um, need to run to the airport, so I might not have as, as much time as I wanted uh, with Sid here. Um, but I'm here with Sid. Um, I met Sid like I don't know five years ago now, yeah, like way back in Bangalore. Yep. Um, so um, was consulting in Bangalore for I think four months or so, and um, Sid had the had the kind kindness to to reach out and say, Hey Taz, like you want to come like come, come, like essentially come to our meetup? And so I was like, Yeah, sure. And so um, went and gave a talk at Sid's meetup, and since mm -hmm. then, you know, been following him and uh, been a big fan of his work so um, on uh, Tuesday I came to give a, give a talk in Amsterdam that's, that's why I'm here and I had to I had to give a shout out to Sid because um, he's kind of one of the one of my foremost inspirations in the design system space on um, the stuff that he's up to these days it, he, he, like like like, I guess correct me if I'm wrong, Sid, but but it seems like you're never satisfied with the norm and you're always pushing the boundaries in every which way as it comes to design systems. Yeah, yeah. I've, I'm, I'm very finicky, so I haven't found a nice way of styling components. And I think I've made a career out of it, like just reinventing how can we style components better. And I'm working on something right now, but it's, it's, a, it's a mess. You see what I mean? He's, he's, he's always working on something right now, and then he always says it's a mess. But like, but like, it's like it's like one of those things where it's like theoretically like already so well thought out. You know what I mean? That um, um, I think this time it might be the other way around. Uh, he says that yeah. he says that every time. You know what I mean? I, I I don't believe him anymore. So I think I think like to, to add some perspective to this to this to this conversation. Um, on Tuesday, I presented about a design system that we were working on in React Native, um, and it was inspired by Sid's work. And so, um, in particular, a project that he built called React UI. I remember talking to him about React UI back then, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Oh, it's an experiment. Oh, I'm not so yeah. sure. Like, oh, this and that." And he was like hand wavy and like and like and like not 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 being overly um, honest about um, about his actual work. Um, and so, like, whenever you tell me this from now mm -hmm. on, Sid, I'm always I'm always I'm always I'm always calling bullshit. I have to lie. Um, okay, I have I feel I have a feeling that. <laughs> There are a few good ideas, but you have a, a better implementation. Like you're better at actually getting things done and putting them out there than I am. So I want to say like you benefit more from like just the documentation than the actual because I never finished React UI. You never finished React UI. That's then. right. <laughs> but like, I, I, like, 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 like this is what this is what I'm saying though is that. Um, um, I feel I feel like conceptually, like like mm -hmm. re really, all, 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 like the thing that the thing that I took from React UI was the concepts yeah. and was the learning and was the structure and what and was the approach, mm -hmm. and um, uh, you, you packaged that in a way that I was able to draw inspiration from and then essentially completely rip off yeah. <laughs> in, in, yeah. my, in my own in my own design system, <laughs> um, and I feel I feel like I feel like that's that's what I'm. That's what I feel like you're beating yourself up too much, mm -hmm. or maybe trying to be overly polite about again. In yeah. that, I feel like whatever you're working on now is probably more the same. It's probably you know um, um, uh, very well thought out, very well structured, very well packaged. But maybe maybe you're dissatisfied about the implementation again, or or am I just being too too hard on you? No, maybe you're right. Because and which gives me an idea. I should stop trying to create libraries. And just create good blog posts. Like essentially, what you should right? just talk to Maggie. <laughs> you should just talk to Maggie. That's Ma true. Ma Ma yeah. Maggie, Maggie is so good yeah. with like with like taking these very complex subjects yeah. and boiling it down to be so simple. Um, but no, um, yeah, I mean, more blog posts out of you would be great. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain about more 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 Sid content. Yeah. So just like cut the middleman out. Here's the concept. Build your own thing. You know? Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Maybe we'll finish it. <laughs> Productive, yes. <laughs> Productive. Um, but yeah, cool, man. So I, I guess like, yeah, so, so like all those years ago, obviously I met you in Bangalore five mm -hmm. years ago. Um, obviously we're not in Bangalore right now. We're like, we're like essentially we're sitting in Amsterdam right now. Um, what what was your journey like um, making that move? Like like what, what was, yeah, can you tell us more about that? Sure. Um, so in, I think when we met, I was working at Odd Zero. Yeah. And I was working on the design systems team and then I want to say in London, yeah. So it was Design System London, where I was giving a talk about like, design systems, and then uh, I met Diana, who who had a talk about how they're starting something in React. And I, at that time, they said they were hiring. So we had a conversation, but um, they didn't hire in India at the time, and there was a Microsoft acquisition and all that going on. So 
things basically just fizzled out. We never really did an interview. And then, uh, meanwhile, I got married. Uh, maybe I was already married, but... Confusing we're, we're, timeline. We're, we're gonna cut that bit out. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're gonna cut the, yeah. My life's gonna uh, So, um, my wife actually got the chance to move from... She used to work at Uber in Bangalore. Mm. And they wanted to move her to Amsterdam. Mm. Uh, so... Oh, 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 and then I left all what, zero. They, 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 then I was getting an Uber from, from Bangalore to Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's long, it's long ride. Uh, so I, I actually quit my job and I was just chilling. Yeah. And my plan was to like chill for a year and then do something with my life. Mm. And meanwhile, she gets a job and she was like, do you want to move? It's going to be like really good for my career. So I was like, I can either just chill or I can like support my wife. So I was like, sure, let's do it. So then, then we moved here. Um, so yeah. The, the, so, the so, short so, so answer was my wife said, "Do you want to go?" And I said, "Yes." So, so basically, basically, um, uh, the, the main takeaway here is, is is just 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 get married to someone that works from yeah. over Bangalore. Have, have a smart wife. Yeah, have, have a smart wife. I mean, that, that's that's where I'm going wrong. I have no wife, and and I, I, I'm, I'm certainly not the smart one. So okay. I mean, um, yeah, I gotta move um, yourself. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta work. move myself like some sort of animal or something. I don't <laughs> even know. I don't even like migratory patterns. Um, but no, that's interesting. I, I, I didn't realize that, that your wife worked at Uber, Uber yeah. Bangalore. Um, so is she working from Uber Amsterdam now, or she was mm. until they fired everyone in the pandemic. She worked in the airport growth team. Oh wow! So when the pandemic hit, they're like, no airport, no team, everyone out. Oh wow! Oh my god! So <laughs> is, is she, did she did she land on her feet? Like, yeah, she she traded up. Now she works at Google. What? Smart wife. Probably. Jeez, uh, like yeah. okay, all right. So basically, basically, I'm, I'm here. I'm here interviewing Sid, but I should be yeah. interviewing his wife. Yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just like freeloading, creating open source. <laughs> he's like, like now I can see why he's never satisfied with any of his libraries. <laughs> That's awesome, though, dude. That's awesome. But I guess, I guess, I guess, pulling it back to Sid. And that's about his. That's about his l lovely smart wife. Um, is. Um, so it's like, like essentially, essentially now, now you're working at GitHub. Yeah. And so at GitHub, what are you also working on design systems yes. or? Okay, cool. Um, and um, I guess uh, like 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 what sort of? So so obviously like I'm using React UI mm -hmm. and I really like React UI. Um, mm -hmm. React UI I think has the right um, kind of um, um, balance between um, abstraction and 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 kind of and kind of utility. Mm -hmm. um, it's not it's not like. In my opinion, it boils down what it takes to build a UI into the actual primitives that, that you can then just use yep. and, and kind of compose. Um, and I think that's really the, the beauty of something like React UI. I think the other thing that I, I like about React UI is kind of how you structure the whole variant system. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, think, I think that's huge. Um, I think that that is, um, in my opinion, transformative. Um, because um, I'm, I'm, I was used to like so often just having like a style prop or like a style a style tag or something, yeah. and then you have no idea how everything's styled anymore because everything's just styled like so so in a, such a custom way. Um, mm -hmm. Just because just because you le you leave the door open for that, and so structuring things with like a variant um, and then having those variants kind of controlled more centrally, like it, it's it's a good it's a good example of kind of. Um, um, constraints um, and yep. and again utility. Yep. Um, so things can be more more consistent in a way. Um, I want to say like that idea has now caught up. Like mm. you see a bunch of like newer libraries like Stitches or Vanilla Extract. They all ship with the idea of variants as a first class mm. citizen. And I think that's a step in the right direction. Mm. Where, like there's no you're no longer like trying to get a few props, combine them into a class name and ship it. Now yeah. you're like these are the options, and then you. And you get like free things like type uh, autocomplete with TypeScript and stuff. You get uh, you get impossible states, or you avoid impossible states because you kind of get variants and you can only combine them in a few ways. So it's kind of I want to say we all landed it by fluke, um, and it was just damn forgetting like Jackson Brent Jackson who who kind of thought of this five years before everyone else. Mm. He doesn't write good blog posts. He creates a lot of libraries, doesn't write good blog posts. Everyone needs to talk to Maggie. I mean, Maggie was just here. Yeah. Just go talk to Maggie, you know what I mean? Ma yeah. Maggie Maggie will get you sorted. I mean, Maggie, Maggie's really good at this type of stuff. But okay, and that, so that's very interesting. So I, I didn't realize, um, it now seems to be becoming more more of a norm, more of a standard mm -hmm. uh, throughout the whole design system space. That's, that's yeah. very interesting. I, I guess I guess I guess what's next there? Like 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 what, like what other things in the space are you interested about or excited about? So the thing that I'm working on right now is is very similar, but it's kind of what comes after it. 
So a lot of the things in React UI, fire alarm. Oh, I, I, I don't know what he said, but uh, you know, Ooh. alarm's going off now. So. But no, you were just about to say more about um, about what, what excites you about the design system space. Like, like, like what, what, what's next? And you said something about building upon right. that idea? Yeah, so, um, so React UI, I think there were a few good ideas, mm. but the developer experience was kind of still tricky because it's very loose. It's still very forgiving. Yeah. And with design systems, you kind of have, you have a few good paths. Like yeah. we, want you to send, we want to send you on this path. And then if you want to do something else, you should feel some friction. Right. I, I have a feeling with React UI, you're recommended to do the right thing, but even if you don't, it feels the same way. Yeah, like so like, 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 I, I get, like you should make the, the good things easy and the yes. bad things hard, right? Yeah, that's a great way yeah. to put it. And I feel like that was something was missing. Mm. So that's one of the big ideas with like API and how do we style components. Um, the variance is one, but even picking colors and stuff should feel very easy as long as it's from your palette. Right. But if you try to do something custom, then it should feel different. Um, so more friction, but the moment you do that, it changes a bunch of things around it, which is like, right. how do you theme it? How do you type these things? Um, how does the class generation work? Because mm. if while debugging, you want the nice things to be CSS variables, uh, but you want the overrides to be custom properties because they're oh, mm. custom properties. CSS. You want them <laughs> just to be like raw CSS values. Right. Um, so there's like some thought over there. And then there's this big uh, React 18 suspense stuff where a lot of React UI was runtime CSS generation. Mm -hmm. But if you think about streaming, uh, you don't really know the entire output. Mm. So it's going to send a few bytes, you get some styles, and then you wait, and then you get the rest of the component and some styles again. So it kind of breaks the whole mm. runtime. Like, it, I imagine it could still work, but it's no longer the nicest pattern. Interesting. So now I'm looking at how can we have the same uh, authoring experience as runtime CSS, because it's really good, uh, but extract it out. Interesting. So, so now is, I'm in like this, Babel land. Is, is this is this your 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 prototype that you're kind of working on, yes. or is this okay? Okay. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a prototype. Yeah. Okay. This this sounds fascinating, though. Okay. This sounds really interesting. Um, yeah, really interesting. Um, yeah, I, like I want to hear more about it. But I have a feeling extraction isn't a thing in React Native because mm. you never really need it. Um, I mean, but like as soon as you start shipping to the web platform, uh -huh. I yeah. mean, then then again you, you you again encapsulate all those same concerns. Yep. And so I think I think that that's the interesting thing about React Native is um, is is how do you write um, uh, common code mm -hmm. where common code makes sense, and then how yep. do you drop down to the platform and be more specific about the platform where yep. dropping down makes sense. And yep. and, and again, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. That kind of balance between the two things, um, and and the way the way that the way that I look at it is basically if if you can accommodate um, those differences around the boundaries, mm -hmm. um, you, you can hopefully provide a common set of, of primitives um, or, or or components internally, and mm -hmm. whatever whatever you want to build internally, then hopefully yeah. becomes uh, more common. Um, yeah. And so like again, taking like like I take a lot of inspiration from Sid and his work in the design system space because that that's that's again very very similar um, to kind of what a design system is. It's kind of that like kind of friendly um, kind of building block layer mm -hmm. um, that allows you to com compose upwards in, like into some sort of meaningful experience at the end of the day. Yep. So, um, so, so this being the next evolution of that and kind of the next exploration of that, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to, to know and understand more. But I got to go get my flight now. So alas, I will not have the opportunity this time, but um, hopefully we'll get the opportunity soon again. And so anyway, Thanks again, Sid. Um, good so to much. see you, buddy. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been too long. I think last time I saw you was like three, London. four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I think it was in London. Even I, I think mm -hmm. um, was the last time I saw you. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, good to see you doing well in Amsterdam. Good to Thank hear. You. Good to hear. Your, 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 like your wife is doing well as well. Yes, <laughs> and, great, yeah. So it sounds like we need to have dinner at some point together because it sounds like it sounds like yeah. I need to take notes. Like how to how to get smart wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you want to ask her that question. I have to yeah. Ask her that question. I have to ask her, and, and, and she'll be like, "Well, I got a smart yeah. husband." Is <laughs> I'm guessing what she would say. So power couple. Yeah. <laughs> power couple. Power couple. Well, thanks again, buddy. Good to see you, and I hope Good to see you again soon. soon.